Hi, Dave T here, and today I'm going to run through the contents of this small pouch of items that I find useful to have with me when I'm out and about shooting videos or just generally going anywhere isolated. It's always a great idea to have a single item that you can throw in a bag, clip on a belt, to take with you to know that you're covered without having to remember dozens of individual items. So if you're interested in some ideas of getting as much as possible into one small pouch, then I'm gonna list the items that I found below. Please note that if you do use any of the links to purchase anything, then I may receive a small payment, shouldn't affect the price that you pay. And also nobody has asked me to create this video or paid for any of the items, I've bought them all myself. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. I chose this case from left right because its clamshell design gives easy access to the most often used items inside. With two internal pockets and elastic straps, I could organise it to ensure that nothing would fall out when it was opened. The main reason to carry these essential items is to fix things on the fly. For that I wanted a multi-tool and importantly I wanted one that would be legal to carry in the UK or when travelling, which meant it either had to be bladeless or that any blades it did have did not lock. The miniature multi-tools like the Leatherman Squirt and Style fitted this requirement but were too small to be useful in a lot of situations. After long hours of research, I settled on the Gerber MP600 bladeless model. It's robust and has 12 useful tools and no blade. The additional toolkit set gives it a 9 extra hex and screwdriver bits. Next came zip ties, something that comes in handy for anything from fixing a bike to producing a makeshift camera mount. I started out with a selection of sizes, but since they can be easily daisy chained together, I settled on half a dozen shorter ones instead. To keep things neat, I used unheated shrink wrap tubing, which can be used in an emergency to fix anything from broken wires to a frayed shoelace. A packet of versatile Sugru, along with some super glue, are always useful to have when something breaks. Also some power cord for everything from fixing a backpack to securing a camera, finish the emergency repair element. Whether waiting for the action to start or monitoring recordings, a spare set of headphones along with an adapter for both an iPhone and quarter inch jack sockets ensures that I'll be able to listen to audio on any of the phones, cameras or recording devices that I use. I've always got an array of gadgets that need power and potential to transfer data. But with at least three types of USB connectors, cables can start to get bulky. So I use these tiny adapters that can turn a single short micro USB lead into either a USB-C or iPhone compatible. As spare data storage, I have a 32GB microSD card, which when paired with an adapter and this tiny microSD reader, means I can get data from pretty much anywhere to anywhere else. Spare batteries are always useful to have, but when you may need to have both double and triple A's, then they start to take up space. So I use these converters, which boost those little triple A's up to the size of their big brothers. To give a phone or other device a boost, I have this small power bank, which stores 2500 milliamps and has a built-in cable with both an iPhone and USB converter plug. A Sharpie is essential just in case you need to sneak into a golf club or perhaps just leave a message to say where you've gone, especially if it's a mini one to save you even more space. For more detailed notes, this true utility telescopic pen fits into the spiral binding of this write in the rain notebook, making sure you can write or leave notes even in wet conditions. Accidents can happen, and so in the pouch's inside pocket, I have plasters and antiseptic wipes to avoid picking up something nasty and latex gloves for when you actually need to pick up something nasty. Useful meds such as antihistamines and ibuprofen are carried in this colourful waterproof capsule. If you're reaching the age like I am where you need reading glasses for small print, then these Finoptix glasses pack into a credit card size case that's only 4mm thick. To keep them clean I have a lens cloth and if it's dark, I have the tiny Olight i1 ROS rechargeable LED light that can provide a handy 5 lumens, or with an additional twist, an incredible 130 lumens. Finally, we get to the section I'm calling personal stuff. In the external netting pouch, I keep a hand warmer, and in the summer, I can swap this for sachets of sun cream. Nail clippers are always useful to have, as is a £10 note for those stuck somewhere occasions. 
I also have this compact waterproof refillable lighter from True Utility. So there you have it, a compact pouch that can be thrown in a camera bag, backpack or clipped on a belt to ensure that I have all of those useful small items that so often get forgotten. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas for putting together your own essentials pouch. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. As always, thanks for watching and stay watching now if you'd like to see how the pouch itself gets packed. Thank you.